Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this retro hitch all style seed beads earrings. They're easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. You're invited to ask me anything in the comments. So if you like what I'm showing you here and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and you will be inspired usually two times a week with my new videos and I will be so happy to have you as my viewer. You could also help me by liking, sharing and commenting and you don't know how much of a support this is. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks and by the way you are invited to share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook or Instagram pages. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also check my second channel, Bijuteo Fast Clips. So now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are six colors of 11 o seed beads. You could use 10 o seed beads and you could use less color if you want. These here are earring findings. This is monofilm and that is 0 0.006 inches so 0 0.15 millimeters. You could also use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now guys, I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have half an arm span of thread on my needle. And what I'm going to pick up are 12 of these beautiful dark red beads. Okay, and I have 12 of them and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread. And here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop with this tail thread and going one more time through the loop I've made. And then I pull. Okay, and if you want, you could do one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. Okay, now I have this. And now I'm going through some beads in this direction. And I have this beautiful circle of beads here. Okay, guys, and in my next step, what I'm going to pick up is one dark orange three like orange beads and one dark orange. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And then as I'm exiting here through this seed bead, I'm skipping the next seed bead and going through the following. Okay, and I have this. Then I'm going to pick up one dark red, three light orange beads and one dark orange. Sorry, I said red, I meant orange. Okay, so now as I'm exiting here through this bead, I'm skipping the next one and going through the following. And I have this now. Then again, okay, the same color combo. Skip the next and go through the following. Okay, and I'm going to continue this three more times. Okay guys, and pay attention in this last step. I'm going here through this dark bead and not through the top orange bead. Sometimes people make this mistake. And now guys, as I'm exiting through this red one, I'm going through this dark orange one in this direction. And what I want to take is one black bead. And then I'm going between the orange and the light orange. And I pull. Now in my next step, what I need to take are five yellow beads. Okay, I'm taking five yellows and I'm going here 
skipping the orange that's at the top this one okay and now i'm exiting uh, out of this light orange between the light orange and the dark orange and i'm going to pick up one black bead and then i'm going here in the same place between these two beads and i pull i will fix this one here a little bit now what i need to take are five yellow beads Again, I'm taking five like I did before. And as I'm exiting from this light orange, I'm skipping the next that's on my way. And I'm going through the following. Okay, and I have this. Now I'm taking one black. Go here. Just like this. And I'm taking five yellows. And then I skip the next light orange and go through the following. Okay, guys. And when I do this work, sometimes I like to flip it just like this and go in this direction because it's easier for me as I'm right handed. It's not obligatory. You could continue this in the other direction. Okay, and now I will do my last three steps. Okay, so now I have this and now guys in my next step I want to go through all of those beads in this direction and I want to exit here through these three top beads okay this one this one and this one and now I'm going to pick up three red beads and go here then through the following yellow see i'm going through the top three beads three black beads and again i repeat the same thing go through the three top yellow beads Okay guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay, and I have this row ready. Okay, and what I want to do next is go through these three black beads that I just added. Take two blue beads and go here through the yellow bead that's sticking out the most. Fix your beads. Take another two and go through these three. Okay. Now you see what you have. Two more. Go here through the central one. Two again. Go in the next three. Two. Go in the center. And again. Okay guys, and I will continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. And now I'm here guys, where I'm adding my last two beads from this row. If you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind the video and see how I'm doing the first steps and repeat it until here. Okay. 
Now in my next step what I do is that I go through these two blue beads. I take just one blue and go through the following two blue beads. Then in my next step I take three dark red beads and I go through the following two blue beads that I added in my previous row. And then I fix the things a little bit to make an even tension and pull. Then in my next step I take one blue, go through these two blue beads and take three red beads. Go through the next two blue beads. Pull. Fix a little bit the tension. Okay, one blue. Go through the next two blue beads. Three reds. Go here through this one. Here again. And continue these guys until the end of this row. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and I just added here my last blue bead from this row. And what I need to do is exit here at this side take my earring finding and I will take a black bead, my earring finding and one more black bead. Okay, this is what I have here on my needle and I'm going back in circle through this top red bead. Okay, now my earring finding is attached but I want to reinforce this joint here. Okay, and after you finish reinforcing, find the place to make a knot and cut your thread. And I'm going to make a knot here between those two beads. I'm making a loop and I'm going twice through this loop I've made and I pull. Then I could repeat this knot several more times when I'm ready. I'm going through the following seed bead after the knot and I cut my thread and my retro hitcho style seed bead earring is ready. Okay guys and now my retro hitcho style seed bead earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new projects usually two times a week and I will be so happy to have you as my viewer. You could also like share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks and by the way you are invited to share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook or Instagram pages. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also check my second channel Bijuteo Fast Clips and if you like it subscribe there as well. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.